All right, so for this problem, I have x is equal to x over 2. So I want to find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with x is equal to x over 2. Now I'm actually going to subtract x over 2 on both sides. So then these two x over 2's cancel out, and now I'll be left with x minus x over 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So now I have x minus x over 2 times 2 is equal to 2 times 0. So for 2 times x minus x over 2, I'm simply going to distribute the 2 to all terms in my parentheses here. So first off, 2 times x, that's simply equal to 2x. And 2 times negative x over 2, the 2 simply cancel out. So I'll be left with is negative x. And this is equal to 2 times 0, which is simply equal to 0. So I have 2x minus x is equal to 0. Now 2x minus x, that's simply equal to x. So I have x is equal to 0. So x equals 0 is my solution. Now I actually have a second method of solving this problem. So again, I first start mm -hmm. off with x is equal to x over 2. And now this time, instead of subtracting x over 2 on both sides, I'm actually going to multiply 2 on both sides. So I have 2 times x is equal to x over 2 times 2. Well, 2 times x is simply equal to 2x. And x over 2 times 2, these two x 2s cancel out. So I'll simply be left with x. So I have 2x is equal to x. Now, I'm going to subtract x on both sides. These two cancel out. And I'll be left with 2x minus x, which is x is equal to, on my right hand side, I'll have 0. So x equals 0 again. So now to check, I have x is equal to x over 2. We know that x equals 0. So I have 0 is equal to 0 over 2. 0 divided by 2 is 0. So I have 0 equals 0. And because this is right, my solution is right. All right, guys. So in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 4. So I'm going to first start by rewriting 2 to the power of 20 as 2 to the power of 10 times 2. So I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 minus 4. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2, we can rewrite as 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 4. 2 to the power of 10, that's equal to 1024. So now I have 1024 to the power of 2 minus 4. And 1,024, I can rewrite as 1,000 plus 24. So now I have 1,000 plus 24 to the power of 2 minus 4. Now, if I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. In this case, a is equal to 1,000 and b is equal to 24. So I have 1,000 squared plus 2 times 1,000 times 24 plus 24 squared. And then I have my minus 4 at the end. Now 1,000 squared is equal to 1 million. 2 times 1,000 is 2,000. 2 thousand times 24 is going to be 48,000. Now 24 squared, that's going to equal 576. So I have 576 minus 4. And 576 minus 4 is 572. So I have 1 million plus 48,000 plus 572. And this is equal to 1 million. 48,572. 
So this is my answer. All right, so in this problem, I have 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x plus 5 to the power of x is equal to 1,000. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out 5 to the power of x from my left-hand side. So now I'm going to have 5 to the power of x times, well, 5 to the power of x divided by 5 to the power of x is 1. So I have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, and this is equal to 1,000. Now, if I simplify what's in the parentheses, I get 4. So now I have 5 to the power of x times 4 is equal to 1,000. Now, if I divide by 4 on both sides, these two simply cancel out, and I'll be left with 5 to the power of x is equal to 1,000 divided by 4, which is 250. So I have 5 to the power of x is equal to 250. So now I'm going to take the log on both sides, so I have log 5 to the power of x is equal to log 250. And if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent of b to the front. So this is going to equal b times log a. So in this case, I have log 5 to the power of x. And I can move x to the front. So that's going to equal x times log 5, which is equal to log 250. So 250, that's the same thing as 5 times 5 times 5 times 2. And 5 times 5 times 5, I can rewrite that as 5 to the power of 3 times 2. Now, if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So in this case, I have log 5 to the power of 3 times 2, and I can rewrite that as log 5 to the power of 3 plus log 2. Now, I'm going to divide both sides by log 5. And these two cancel out. Now I'll be left with x is equal to log 5 to the power of 3 plus log 2 over log 5. And the 3 I can move to the front. So now I'm going to have x is equal to 3 times log 5 plus log 2 over log 5. Now, I can rewrite this as 3 log 5 over log 5 plus log 2 over log 5. Now, these two log 5's can cancel out, so I'll be left with 3 plus log 2 over log 5. And log 2 over log 5, I can rewrite as log base 5 of 2. So this is my answer, 3 plus log base 5 of 2.